Well, hi, this is Jay Arthur, author of Lean Six Sigma Demystified, Lean Six Sigma for Hospitals and the QI Macros. Now, I want to talk to you about when I went to college, uh, this is the dark ages, of course, uh, we used this thing called a slide rule, right? See that? And that's how you did calculations. Boy, that, man, that was it. And we'd been using these for 70, 80, 100 years. I don't know how long. Uh, but that's how you did all your calculations, right? And that was, that was big medicine. Now, later on, and towards the later part of college, they actually came out with calculators. But those first TI calculators were like $500, right? Was, which was almost prohibitively expensive for a college student, right? It was just way too much money, right? And so that, and that's how we started to do it. Now, the funny thing is now we have computers, right? And so maybe we don't need all that stuff, right? Uh, but anyway, my, my first control chart class was done on a computer like this, right? Calculating formulas and averages and standard deviations and all those other kinds of things, right? Uh, but now, it, why are we doing that, right? And I see a lot of people uh, that send people off to training for green belt and black belt and they don't buy their their employees in the software to actually do the control charts and predator charts and histograms that they're going to need to maintain and sustain those improvements. Uh, I don't get it, you know. Uh, the QI macros is like 250 bucks, but it, it's essentially cheaper than the calculator that I could have bought in college, right? And this is how the world works, right? There, there's tremendous opportunity if we just pony up a little cash and give people the stuff they need to do their job all right so don't be somebody who spends three four thousand dollars sending somebody to green belt or black belt training and then don't give them any software to do the job i think that's ridiculous anyway that's my improvement insight for this week i'm jay arthur see you in the next video